Hey Taurus, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for March 2021 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's going on for you in love. I have a different spread for you guys, the past, the present, the future. Um, I'm changing things up. I think you guys, I think I announced it on my last video with you guys. Uh, but pretty much, uh, just so you guys know a few announcements. My spring sale is on right now. All my personal readings are on sale through the 31st of March. Take advantage of the offer. You can take advantage of it through my personal site here and um, also my Etsy shop, okay? Oh, let's see. The very end of the reading, ask the universe. Think of three yes or no questions, and we're going to ask the universe at the very end of the reading. Your bonus extended reading, how does your person feel, is up on Vimeo. It's from March 10th through the 20th. I started a little bit early this time. See, I got you guys in time. So March 10th through the 20th, how does your person feel? What's really going on in their feelings, emotions? What are they not saying? What are they not telling you? How do they truly want to move forward? Check it out. I've also included some unrevealed thoughts and secrets as well as what does the spirit, what does spirit, what does the universe want you to know right now to attract love and abundance into your life? Okay, so Go ahead and check it out. The link will be in the description box. All right, I'm going to start off with the epiphany. You guys have seen this stuff before. It is on my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. All right, Taurus, let's get your messages. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages we have for Taurus? Let's get a few shuffles in here. Taurus, Taurus, what's going on with my Tauruses out there? This resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. Okay, I love to connect with you guys. Okay, let's get a few ooh, out there. Hard to say goodbye, and we have not your typical love story, okay? Oh, we got, we got four. Okay, so yeah, it looks like there's someone here, Taurus, in your environment, in your energy, who has um, having a difficult time really saying goodbye to this, having a difficult time really breaking away, severing, um, accepting this as a true loss, okay? So this could be a recent breakup or someone in the past, okay? We have not your typical love story, so there was nothing typical about this connection. I'm getting, it could have been an unexplainable chemistry or a uh, bond that you guys had, and I feel no one understood it except for you. This person could have put you through hell and back but it's like you knew that this was love okay some of you guys who really were in love with this person and you may be having a difficult time saying goodbye we do have enlightenment here so someone is going through some kind of enlightenment they're getting clarity um seeing more clearly they're actually able to see this for how it truly is okay let's see and we also have hearts that speak the same language so some of you guys your person is becoming more clear that you know your hearts were intertwined right there's nothing that's going to separate you guys truly so even though if you guys are separated or distant, not communicating, they're realizing at the end of the day, you know, your hearts were um, were really both in a good place. You both really did have true love for this person. I'm getting, you both had love for this person. It was very, very um, strong, but I'm almost getting someone resisted it at the time, okay? Because it's saying not your typical. It wasn't typical. It didn't just go smoothly. There were some... Oh, there were definitely some delays here or challenges. Let's get one more here. Setting clear boundaries. So some of you guys who had to set clear boundaries, okay, around this person. Maybe you felt like they took advantage of you in some way, okay? Or maybe you guys had to set clear boundaries for your own uh, sake, okay? Because I'm getting something here could have not gone the way you anticipated or planned. Or this person could have just, you know, did whatever they did. They may have disrespected you and you had to, like, make it very clear to this person where you stand, what you're looking for, your expectations, okay? So let's see what happened in the past. We're going to look at the past the present and the future all right Taurus what's happening what happened in the past here with this person if this resonates like share, comment and subscribe be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload okay Taurus so in the past there was a situation here where you were I'm getting you guys were dating fooling around there was a lot of fun there was a lot of um, you know sharing of drinks Netflix and chilling this is like casual dating for me it could have been someone here you're connecting with who kept their options open as well they could have been messing around with other people as well Taurus but I do feel like there was a casual connection um, I do feel yeah this is someone who could have certainly been 
you know, kind of breadcrumbing you. They could have been giving a little bit to you, a little bit to another situation, maybe even another party, okay? I'm getting, like, your person wasn't really taking this seriously, okay? Someone wasn't taking things seriously, and I do feel, unfortunately, someone felt like they were getting the short end of the stick. They could have felt like they were being rejected, or they weren't really getting the love that they wanted. I'm getting someone was pouring out the cups, right, of love, that, that you, perhaps you offered this person, Taurus. So if you were the one who wanted more, who wanted this person to give you more attention, express themselves, or, you know, maybe even commit to you, if you wanted something more than just this casual type of connection, I feel that you could have offered it to this person, but they weren't interested. So unfortunately, it looks like there was a missed opportunity here because someone was was not really fully invested, okay? With that Six of Pentacles in reverse, someone was really um, not really focused, they didn't make this connection a true priority, all right? We got the Queen of Cups here, okay? Someone was the one who was very, one person gave it all. One person was really loyal, okay? Some person, one person was definitely um, very true to, to their self, to what they wanted. They were vulnerable, they were available, okay? They loved very hard. Now, Taurus, if this is you, okay, I feel like you could have gotten, you could have been the one that you felt like uh, I'm getting taken advantage of in some way, okay? You could have been the one who had to set clear boundaries, all right? So let's see. What is the current energy for Taurus and their person? So we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So someone is letting go of something here that has kept them really feeling stuck and tied and bound, okay? I'm getting the energy that there was a lot of unknowns about this person, okay? You could have felt like um, they weren't really giving you uh, all the information you could have felt like they kept things from you Taurus I'm getting also someone was silent or ghosted with that high priestess but what I'm seeing is that you know this person never gave you clarity on where you stood okay you knew that they perhaps cared about you but you never really knew where you stood what their intentions were where this was really going okay with that high priestess card I'm getting that you were just like kept in the dark you, you know there was something here that was not revealed all right, so let's see. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Let's get some more messages. So we got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So now it looks like your person is doing a lot of thinking about their... Wow, we got the same type of energy here that came out for Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio. Let's get one more. Two of Wands. So what I'm seeing is someone is perhaps um trying to make a decision, okay, about... Uh, the long-term stability and security of this connection. I do feel like you were dealing perhaps with a another, okay, um, earth sign, perhaps a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, okay? But what I'm seeing is that someone wasn't really moving forward. Someone was kind of stuck or maybe being very indecisive with the two of wands, okay? But now I see like this person is doing a lot of thinking, Taurus. They're doing a lot of thinking about what's really important to them, okay? They're thinking about growth. They're thinking about their future, all right. And I feel like, you know, whoever this person was, I'm getting a very mysterious energy. And I feel like they were perhaps very mysterious because they didn't really truly know what they wanted. So they kind of kept you stuck. OK, you could have felt like you were blindfolded here. You know, your hands were tied. You know, your eyes were blindfolded. This person didn't tell you much because, well, there really wasn't much to tell is what I'm seeing because they didn't know what they wanted. They were still making a decision. Okay, maybe they didn't tell you that they were trying to make a decision about you and another person. And that could have kept things from really truly moving forward. It could have kept this person really investing in you for the long term. Okay, and that's where things stand right now. And I feel like you guys are perhaps trying to let it go because you're not, you haven't really gotten the answers from this person. So there is a decision that right now someone is trying to make. So let's see what the two of wands, how this plays out. In the outcome, we got the wheel. So there's finally some kind of big change, some kind of movement in the right direction here with the wheel. Wow, we got the sun, beautiful. So sun is clarity, healing, happiness, hope, harmony, beautiful. The judgment. So what I'm seeing is that someone is still putting off making a decision with the judgment in reverse and the page of swords. Wow. So Taurus, perhaps you're dealing with a Leo, but what I'm seeing is that someone is still watching you. They're still keeping their eye on you, but they're not ready to make a decision just yet. We got the judgment in reverse. So um, others of you guys, they may have made a decision. They could have felt like they made a poor decision. So take it how it resonates, okay? Some of you guys, you're getting unstuck because a decision was made, and maybe it was because you decided to walk away, set clear boundaries, and remove yourself from the situation altogether, okay? But I almost see in the outcome for the majority of you guys, I do feel like if a decision was made, um, your person is regretting that decision because they're keeping their eye on you. 
They haven't truly let you go. That page of swords, it's a very investigative energy. It's trying to dig for information, for clarity, for answers. I feel like your person is a poor communicator, okay? So coming into the moment, they may be, you know, they may text you once once in a while, but I'm seeing that when it comes to them moving forward, they're they're not really taking action. They're doing more watching, okay? They're looking at you from afar. They may ask people about you. They may check your, you know, your posts online, but they're not really saying much. But I do feel like they're slowly going to be coming um, more aware of what they could have had with you. We got the wheel. I think things are finally moving forward in the right direction for you, Taurus. But I'm seeing your person get like kind of left behind. Yeah, the two of swords. I feel like your person is the one who's still stuck, but I'm thinking that you guys are freeing yourself from this. The eight of swords, the two of swords in reverse. I think you guys are no longer keeping yourself stuck because you know that you have happiness coming to you. There's abundance, okay, in the very near future with the wheel. You guys are taking matters into your own hands, okay? I feel like you guys are releasing yourself from this person because they don't know what the hell they want and you're not going to hold, put your life on hold waiting for them. Okay, so I feel like the decision is perhaps to let this go, but I do see your person wondering what's going, what's going to happen with you guys. They're wondering if you perhaps have another person, okay, because you're setting yourself free, Taurus. All right, let's get some clarity. Again, if this resonates, check out your March 10th through the 20th bonus reading on Vimeo. Uh, let's get some more messages for my Taurus out there. So this person played around. You know, they were very um, casual with it. They really weren't trying to give you that exclusivity. They perhaps weren't trying to commit, right? They were definitely, you know, giving perhaps to other people, other situations. They weren't making you a priority, Taurus, okay? Yeah, this is someone who was non-committal, the king of pentacles in verse. They were perhaps were not loyal, okay? Or they didn't really want to settle down. That's pretty much it, okay? And they may have had a lot of responsibilities. Maybe they already had a child. Maybe they've been through a marriage. They had a divorce. But I'm seeing that they kind of just wanted to play, play around. They wanted to just have a casual connection. And I feel you guys thought about it for some time, but you knew that you wanted more, okay? That four of cups, you felt disappointed. And it's like you really didn't want to settle for that. That's not really what you wanted. And I think that you you were already in, emotionally invested in this. So the queen of cups is here. Some of you guys are perhaps dealing with the cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is the energy you had toward this person. You were very loving and giving and loyal and supportive, okay? So let's see. I do, yeah, the Queen of Cups came out again. Look at that beautiful love. What I'm seeing is that this person had you thinking about your own worth. Um, I think for a while you waited perhaps to see if the situation would change, if they would do better, if they would change their, their ways or actions towards you. And I feel like you, you waited on this person for a very long time, Taurus. You waited for the, the ships to come in with this connection, okay? But I feel that like you guys found yourself um, giving to someone who gave you very little in return. Okay, let's see what else came out. Yeah, and it brought a lot of conflict to your life. It brought a lot of drama. You felt like you were fighting for this person's attention and you felt like this just isn't right. This doesn't feel right. Okay, so let's see what the current moment is. The seven of, uh, the eight of swords in verse with the high priestess. You guys have been keeping yourself stuck because there's a lot that you didn't know. Um, you never got the closure. You never really understood why this person treated you that way. And the Six of Swords in verse, there's definitely something here. You had a difficult time right now, or you're having a difficult time really letting go and moving away from this connection. But I think that you guys know that's for your greatest good, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing you guys are finding yourself robbed of your happiness, of your abundance. That high priestess is telling me you intuitively know what's best for you. Okay, and you know this person right now isn't giving you the stability, okay? They're kind of very wishy-washy. They still are wishy-washy, and they're not taking action toward you with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So we got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys are cutting. You're seeing the truth. You're getting the clarity you need. Perhaps letting go of something or breaking away from something. Got the heart to say goodbye. Some of you guys are letting go of this person, and you're releasing them. Yeah, you're dropping them. Someone got dropped. Two of Pentacles in verse. Someone is no longer wanting to be just a toy, being yo-yoed around anymore, and they're seeing the truth. They're cutting ties with something. I'm getting something's getting slashed. <laughs> yeah. What is the outcome here? We got the sun and the wheel of fortune. Damn, the tower, scorpion energy. There is a tower moment. So your person, when you get the clarity, when you free yourself, when you when you move forward, right? When you level up with the wheel, you finally move things in the right direction for you, Taurus. So you are bringing abundance and happiness into your life. With that tower, your person's energy, they're getting shooken up. They're surprised by this. They're surprised that you are 
letting go, you're breaking away. Because in the past, you were in this Two of Swords energy. You were stuck waiting on them. But now, mm -mm, not anymore. You're letting that go. You're dropping it. Two pentacles in verse. You're not waiting on this person anymore. Right? You're seeing the truth. You're getting clarity. And you're cutting that out. And your person is like, wow. Your person's now going through a tower moment. They're surprised. This is their life getting shooken up. This is them realizing, okay, that, wow, you know, Taurus was the person I should have been moving toward. I should have been working on the connection with me and Taurus. So now your person wants to open up, right? They were very much guarded before. They're very selfish with their time, their energy, their efforts. But now they're wanting to let you in, Taurus. Now they're wanting to drop their guards. Now they're wanting to tell you what they were hiding, why they were so secretive with that high priestess card. Because your person doesn't like the decision you made, okay? With that judgment in a verse, they don't like that perhaps you're letting them go. And they're watching you again with the Page of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, this is someone that I think you're breaking away from. There's an ending of a commitment or commitment is just no longer on the table here. Yeah. You guys are finding your happiness again, Taurus. You're letting go. You're seeing um, a way forward. Okay. You, you know, some of you guys, there's something coming towards you that's going to make you very happy. There's a lot of enlightenment. There's clarity. There's just truth here with something being illuminated. And unfortunately, your person is the one who's like now watching you see you reap all, all that you've been sowing. Okay. Wow, Taurus. That was a lot. Beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so if that resonates for you guys, um, this is the past, the present, the future spread. Let me know if you guys like this. Leave me a comment. Um, your bonus reading is up on Vimeo, March 10th through the 20th. How does your person feel? I've included some unrevealed thoughts and secrets from your person, as well as what does the universe want you to know, Taurus? What you to know in order to keep attracting the love and beautiful, um, high vibrational, vibrant energy into your life, okay? So check that out. Um, ask the universe. Let's get to it. Ask the universe three questions, Taurus, and I will go ahead and get your answer. This Oracle deck is on my Etsy shop. You don't have to know. You don't have to have um, tarot knowledge. It's pretty straightforward questions. Um, I'm sorry, straightforward answers to your questions. Well, not always straightforward, right? We, we, we know that. Sometimes it's maybe, but, you know, for the most part, you know, you get a straightforward answer. All right. Taurus, what is your question? Let's start with your first question. Think of three yes or no questions. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. All right. What is your first question, Taurus? We have negative, okay? Now, the negative came out in reverse. It's almost like it's a positive, but it did come out negative, okay? So the first answer is negative, negative. What is your second? Ooh, what is your second question? Question. This is a very thick deck, so, if, you know, y'all see me you know, just like dropping it all over the place. It's because it's 108 cards. Again, it's not your typical 78 card tarot deck, okay? It's, it's very thick, okay? Very thick. All right, enough with the accents, right? <laughs> what is your second question? What is your second? Oh my gosh, okay. What is your second question? I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to manipulate this video before I post it. All right, what is your second question, Taurus? Yes, but expect delays, okay? Yes, but expect delays, okay? Um, Taurus, your last question pertaining to the person, the situation, anything, okay? Career. What is your third question? Work in progress, dot, dot, dot. Work in progress. It is a work in progress. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you guys. Um, enjoy your week. Send you love and my blessings. Um, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, favorite my shop, my sale, my spring sale. Personal readings um, have definitely been slashed. Go ahead and purchase your reading through the 31st, okay? My, my sale is going to end on the 31st, okay? All right, you guys take care. Bye.